welcome to our game sustainability hackathon we're really grateful to have you all here so yeah this is our opening presentation where we'll take you through some relevant information about what the day will look like so we're all on the same page and uh, just before i start um as this hackathon is part of the being human festival we just have a quick word from our sponsors um uh, just uh, yeah just to introduce you to what they're doing. So this event is part of the Being Human Festival, which is taking place across the UK between the 11th to the 20th of November. Being Human is the only national festival of the humanities run by the School of Advanced Study, University of London, in partnership with the Arts and Humanities Research Council and the British Academy. Events are taking place both in person and online this year, and you can see the full programme on the Being Human website at www.beinghumanfestival.org. The festival can be found at the at Being Human Fest on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, and the hashtag is hashtag Being Human 21. Please help us to keep as many festival events as possible free and to improve the festival in years to come by taking a moment to fill in a feedback survey. Your feedback is incredibly valuable. Finally, if you'd like to help support the festival by making a donation, please go to beinghumanfestival.org slash support us. Thank you. So that's uh, some lovely words from them. So um, let's just see. So next we have on our opening presentation, finally. So here's our schedule for today, just so you all have an idea of timings, breaks, and so forth. So from uh, right now till about 10.30 a.m., possibly a bit longer because we had to let everyone kind of filter in. <laughs> Typical Saturday morning just takes a bit longer. Um, so yeah, right now uh, we're doing our opening presentation and Tim and I will take any questions from you. Um, and then from 10.30 to 11, we'll do uh, our team introductions. So we'll give you guys um, sort of like half hour 20 minutes or so just to kind of get to know each other introduce your projects and your research background uh and so forth and uh, kind of get some ideas rolling before you dive right into the hacking um so uh, after kind of 11 or so we'll please show into your zoom meeting rooms and then you can kind of yeah as i said get to know each other and begin to think about what you might want to hack and create and then from uh, 11 to 1 you can get hacking and then after that we can recommend a, a lunch break and such um, and then kind of from say two roughly to uh, half five it's part two of the hackathon and then from five till six we'll hold some presentations so each group can show off their project and ideas there may be a q a aspect to those presentations but we'll need to see how far we get as we would like to give as much time as possible to your uh, kind of hacking process uh, i will say however that if you require a short break at any point please feel free to take it this is a guideline with only the introductions and lunch and presentations kind of mandatory you could say and uh, we won't be leaning over your digital shoulders monitoring how much time you spend in your projects and how focused you are and so forth you know we want today to be a really fun casual collaborative process we're aware of the kind of the reputation of hackathons and the last thing we want is for anyone to overwork themselves today as we really don't consider that part of our challenge and uh, my supervisor and i both recommend that you take what's called a micro breaks where you take five minute breathers away from your work every so often and that can help prevent things from getting too strenuous uh, how you take these breaks is up to yourselves your work patterns and what works best for you uh, but we always like to remind people that there are hidden disabilities and those who have different working patterns like i myself work in short bursts with frequent breaks uh, if there are any problems you're more than welcome to approach myself or dr peacock and we can see what we can do so uh, who are we well the hackathon is hosted by the university of glasgow's games and gaming lab we're a multidisciplinary research lab and you guessed it physical and digital games uh, my name is Lauren and I'm a research assistant with the lab and I'm hosting the Hackathon today alongside Dr. Timothy Peacock, who is one of the lab's co-directors and it's presented as part of the Dear Green Boffy in collaboration with Tinderbox and New York University's Game Centre. So what is a hackathon? Well, it's in the name. So your traditional hackathon involves the hacking of something. Now, this can mean a few things, such as the modification of pre-existing lines of code, or perhaps even making a new program entirely. Now, as hacking has changed to become more colloquial in our everyday use, we can apply it in a much broader way, leading to a humanities hackathon. So coding is not mandatory today. That's very important. We want to encourage ideas and creative solutions of all different kinds. It's problem solving. Uh, our humanities, or sorry, our game sustainability hackathon intends to be a humanities hackathon. So coding isn't mandatory, but if your team does find it useful or viable today, then go on ahead. You know, we don't we don't have limits on how you approach um, your how you want to do your project. Um, our hackathon is ideally mostly about collaboration with people who have different experiences, skills, and knowledge to power through our short working time scale and come up with creative solutions and project ideas pertaining to 
games and sustainability. Even if you have no experience at all in these subjects, other than perhaps an enthusiasm, that is incredibly valuable. You could bring a perspective to your team's project that enables them to think about how accessible it is, clarity in communicating their idea to audience beyond those with experience in the subject, et cetera, et cetera. So, what is a game sustainability hackathon? Well, today we'll focus on how to make games board or um, kind of digital, uh, more aware of climate crisis, sustainability, and or general ecological themes. We'll start off by showing you a demo of a game called Terra Nil. It's uh, by developer Freelouse in 2021 to get a sense of how these themes can be represented in games, just as an example. Uh, it'll be a playthrough I did, pre-recorded, and I'll give some brief commentary on top of it and kind of explain what's going on. Because uh, it is a kind of, it's an isometric sort of top-down game. Uh, it's a little bit strategy, but it is, it's, it is really beautiful and it's very simple to get, to get into the mechanics of it. Um, and if anyone wants to jump in at any point, ask a question or provide their own thoughts on it, then please do, because we, again, just want to start that collaboration, that communication. So as I said, though, this is only going to be an example. This hackathon is not about making a game from scratch, and it doesn't need to be about you kind of making a new mechanic in a game. Teams can explore development strategies, game content, packaging, any part of the development gameplay or game distribution process. And that does include outlines for new mechanics or ways to consider the environment uh, in games as well, for example. Again, this is just to prompt your ideas. So um, a previous example of uh, our kind of hackathons, that Humanities Hackathon was recently held at the University of Glasgow by Dr. Hannah Louise Clark, whose work has been invaluable to this event. It was a global history themed hackathon that focused on history research through local archives, such as the Hunterian Museum here at the university. Participants produced ideas for specific kinds of historical records, databases, creative writing assignments for research, ideas for exhibitions themed around public engagement with archives, such as art installations or a kind of theatre or television drama, and as well kind of re revisiting pre-established projects after learning new information and perspectives from it. So as you can see, your, create, your options for creative outputs are, are, are around themes of sustainability today, or they're really endless. Uh, we only ask that you don't utilize material that you don't own the copyright to, so that your productions are kind of novel uh, and you don't get in any trouble. Uh, but you can, of course, use third party tools and software to, to make what you require if you need to. So, how are our teams organized? Well, we have divided teams into a maximum of four, and when uh, our presentation here is done, we'll put you all together in a Zoom meeting room, which is how we will communicate throughout the duration of this hackathon. Uh, as we can see, maybe not everyone is here right now. Folk might filter in throughout the day, so don't worry about that. That is for Tim and I to deal with. We'll organize uh, that end. So if there's any trouble, such as you needing to leave for a moment, sudden connection issues, I'll have my email open at the side all day and myself or Dr. Peacock will assist you in getting back into the meeting and into your groups. Just shoot us a message. Uh, and we also ask that each team designates one person to just kind of keep track of developments or kind of just to uh, voluntarily explain what's going on in case uh, anyone who's late or needs to come in later or jump in and out can be quickly briefed by uh, one person and kind of keep the work pattern running smoothly so everyone everyone's on the same page. So. Uh, or goals. Well, projects, creative ideas and their hacks can take any form you desire, as explained from simply the outlining of an idea to the creation of a web page or, or database. It does not need to be perfect either. This is all an opportunity for you to meet those similarly involved in the topic of games and sustainability slash climate crisis and ecology. And our chief priority is to let you all work with each other and come across new perspectives on the field slash topic stemming from different contexts, backgrounds and experience. And that can help inform your future working projects potentially. So each team will hopefully have an idea, whether it is material such as an object program or website, or uh, the outline of a project written with sketches or illustrations of some kind by five o'clock this evening. And we can present it to each other by the end. As I said previously, we hope to have time for a Q&A, but can't guarantee as we prefer to give the time to you all working together. It really depends on how many uh, come in and out throughout the day. <clears throat> so. Uh, or social media. <laughs> social media policy um, is, uh, yeah, we, we included it in the PDF um, and we can send that out to you again. It's perfectly available, just contact us, but we'll be using the hashtag Green Gaming Hackathon. I would love for you to tag us if you do use that hashtag at uh, U of G Games Lab and U of G Arts, just so we can see you. And you're more than welcome to post about our event and what your team's creating on Twitter all throughout the day. 
Uh, we would recommend, if possible, due to general policy, uh, to keep the faces of participants outside of any photographs taken, but you are more than welcome to post images of your work. And uh, after today, we'll be posting reflections about the hackathon after it is finished, as well as hopefully links to your projects or blog posts of the creative output today. <clears throat> so, final presentation. Well, they'll be at 5 p.m., but don't worry, because we will give you plenty of warning in advance and can potentially shift quite a few minutes around, depending on what's required of your project and, again, how many are here. And presentations should hopefully be around kind of five to ten minutes, just to give you guys plenty plenty of time to kind of um, include all the details and, and what you've worked on throughout the day and really show off to everyone. And um, we'll give teams minutes between each presentation for you to get organized, share screens and such. This will be a very casual affair. Um, you can designate one person to speak for you or you can split the presenting up amongst yourselves. It is your choice and what works for all of you. And I'd like to ask, don't focus on like making that a fancy PowerPoint or anything. Simple graphics just work great. Even just single image, your description of it matters most we want to hear details applicability who it's aimed at uh, and so forth and there will be no judging or, or rankings or winners and losers it is just to share your hard work today with all of us because we'll be really excited to see it so uh, contacts uh, and questions so you're more than welcome to contact myself or Tim at any point during the hackathon if you have questions concerns or need clarification uh, this can be over Zoom in the chat function or over email. And yeah, we went, we uh, more than welcome any questions now as well, uh, in case anyone has, has any. As well, you can uh, also post them in the chat. <clears throat> 